Hey, how's it going? And today I just wanted to talk about the idea that you can use Unreal Engine to create storyboards, especially if you're like me and you don't have much artistic ability, you can actually use Unreal Engine. Now I'm looking over all the potential ways you can do this. This is the one way I think you could do it is there is a asset here called <laughs> Assetsville, Assetsville Town, and you need Unreal Engine 5.4 or earlier to run it. So if you only have 5.5, you'd need to download an earlier version. I'm going to be using 5.3 for this because there's actually another plugin here that only works on 5.3. So I have 5.3. So anyway, you go ahead and you create a project. I created a project called My Project. It doesn't matter if it's a first or third person template. Either one should be fine. And then you go ahead and create this project. Have Unreal Engine 5.3. Download this one. It's free. And it's like kind of this low poly world, but it has lots of characters in here that you can move around in cars and buildings. It'd be really easy to map out a kind of a scene here. Then you just add this to your project. And that's where I'm at right now is I've had this added to my project. So you'll come in here and there's a folder called Assetsville and you click on maps and you go into the demonstration and it'll take you into here. Now we're in here and we're flying around and isn't this amazing? I mean, if you if you really think about how long would it take you to create this world? I don't know about you, but it would take me, I mean, it would be a good week, 30, 40 hours, maybe even longer. And here are all these assets and all these assets can be picked up and moved and whatever you want to do with them, really. So what you could do is whatever your scene called for, you would just set up these characters and cars or buildings, however you wanted for the scenes. And what you could do, I'll give you two tips on how to do this, is I'm using my, I'm piloting, I'm flying around in perspective mode right now, right? So I've got my middle finger on W and with my middle mouse wheel, I'm scrolling backwards to control my camera speed. So that's, I think that's one of the top 10 skills you need to have in Unreal Engine is controlling the camera speed with the scroll wheel because you just have such control over that middle mouse button. So you let's say I, I wanted to storyboard out a conversation or something between two guys or something. Like there's two guys right here. Then I could just position in perspective mode how I want it to go, right? So this is going to be this first guy talking to this guy here. So come up here to this... I call this the hamburger, but the three lines. You just click it and you go create camera here, Cine camera actor. And now it's created a camera in that location. And I can rename this just for, so I don't get confused with all my cameras. I could press here, I could press F2 and call this cam two and maybe some sort of scene description. Um, you know, maybe actor, actor one, uh, close up, something like that, right? Now I can see it down here in this picture in picture window. Then let's say I wanted to get a different shot. Then I come over here and there's my camera there. You see, I get a slow the camera down here, come to right here. And now let's say I want to get this picture here, come here and create camera here, right? So now I have, and I could come over here again and hit F2 and call this cam three. However you want to name it is fine. Um, you may want to give them uh, even like a prefix with an A. Then they go cam. So they'll all be, you could put them in their own folder and even do that. So let's, let's do that. Here we go. We create this and I can create a new folder, give it a name here, and I can just drag all these into a folder so i have them all in one easy to get to location for all my cameras of the shot actually so i could just turn it off turn its visibility off if i wanted to so there's a lot of options you have but let's say i wanted to get this shot here i could actually go into pilot mode to um, see the shot in a bigger screen here and then all I need to do is come back up here and I could come to high resolution screenshot and I could just go capture. And then it's going to put it in a folder in my project, right? And if I click there, you'll see there's my screenshot. So I could literally go through, place a hundred cameras in the scene, get a hundred shots 
and go back through the whole thing and piece together a storyboard fairly easily and it would look fairly professional and I could really convey my idea. So I just think this is a fantastic tool, this asset, this assets bill because of these low poly characters and how much detail is already in the scene that it would be very easy to create a storyboard. So anyway, that's all I had for today. I hope you found it helpful. Take care and I'll talk to you next time.